Hi, welcome back, folks. It's an important session for beginners at the same time. Somewhat extent, if you don't have an idea about implementation and enhancement projects, so probably it is right time to get into that. It is one of the project methodology and the activity, important activity. Okay. So our topic today is SAP project cutover. So, okay. So like, you know, cutover. What is the meaning of this term? Like before finishing off your project, what are all the last moment important activities to close the project? Before closing the product, what are all the actions you're supposed to take? Okay, when you're supposed to hand out your system to your business uh, consultants. Okay, we are SAP consultant. The business of consultant is different. Business uses, you can say. SAP project cutover by me. My name is Jigish Kumar Raidu. I'm SAP SDS for HANA practitioner. Let's try to get into this. Okay, what is cutover? Like generally what happens, what you need for your customer, what you need for your customer for cutover, okay? You are going to set up all the settings, okay? Prerequisites, what you have tested in a development system, uh, unit testing and a quality system. And after that, you are going to test in user accept testing. Finally, you are going to update the final data version for your customer to use the system in production, Okay. So for that, you require planning. What needs to be done? For example, if you go to the banking industry or any other service industry, there you don't require, you know, delivery screens, delivery relevant configuration. It is not required. Okay. Service order and billing will be there. In the similar way, if you go to retail industry, they will call materials as the articles. You need to update the articles. Apart from all your base configurations, so like, you know, when system is getting ready, okay, when system is getting ready for the business, before go live, whatever the cutover activities you are going to take. For that, you require a planning. Some people, they will do it in software, very less. Most of the times, they will prepare Excel sheet. What are the actions need to be taken? And then they will do the preparation and execution, finally handover. Okay, so this is the cutover. So let's get into the details one by one. Who will do it? 99% SAP consultants will do. Okay, there also, if it is a big master data need to be uploaded, okay, you will have a cutover team lead, cutover manager will be there, depends on the client, and you will have executives. Okay, see regular level whoever doing the configuration and unit testing and solutioning that team might be different from this team. Sometimes if the budget is less, so like you know, cutover will be done by them, solutioning will be done by them, and everything will be done by them. Okay, so it has a different market for cutover. Actually, you know, rollout projects it is very very important. Okay, so once you went live. For, for example, USA, and after that, you are going for Europe, California, Mexico under, uh, under like, you know, the same project. Like, you know, you don't find much difference when you compare it with uh, the solution. Then cutover means that they will carry the cutover file. Simply, they will try to do that. I'll tell you one simple example based on my projects. We worked for distributors, okay? So distributors for one country were doing the one base solution, okay? Then second phase, Oh, we'll we're we're handing over this activity to the cutover team. They are doing continuous rollouts. If they, they they don't find much changes, if they find simple changes also. For example, one distributor we went live for base solution. In the same country, they are going to update for four four DT. Then some solutions if any anything got pending next year, we have done. And after that, it is get extended for hundred distributor, two hundred distributor, thousand distributors like that. You know. They're going to different, different location. They are getting ready the business system, distribution system to get used. Okay. So this is, this is the real time what I am telling actually. So SAP managers, business teams, because 
so you have when when you are doing configuration when you are doing sales order whatever the business processes you are testing such a case what you will do so you may require five materials 10 materials maximum 50 to 60 but actual business might they use like you know more than uh, thousands of sqs that will be done through uh, lsmw or else some bdc some techniques will be there with that you know cutover team or else consultants need to update the business system what is cutover means you are getting ready the system see cutover not only happens uh, like you know only for production sometimes it happens for lower system it depends on the client agreement okay so you client think that for example if you go for banks and all like you know they are very strict about their system actually so you will have very less limited access for everything okay if you go for insurance companies or else big data companies okay now you got it who will do it all these team members business teams managers all get together involved to achieve one common goal like cut over okay simple typical landscape we will see now okay you can see development client uh, see this is already explained i have given one uh, detailed video okay in development system we have generally golden client and unit test client will be there or else it might have separate system if customer might feel uh, like you know his uh, data need to be secured and backup and all so what do you do you will just uh, take the requirements, take the all configurations, all programs in Golden Client. And after that, you will move the copy to your next client. For example, 100 you are doing, some 300 you are copying. After that, you will do unit testing. Once you confirm that, if, you, if everything is okay, you will move to the quality system. The testing team will test it. In the similar way, you just will test in a UAT client. See, you try to understand so this landscape is broader landscape. Sometimes what happens, the quality system itself is in uh, support projects, the UAT client, as well as your testing client. You don't have separate, uh, once you went go live, so they will scrap this UAT client and they will use quality or else they'll scrap quality, they will keep it UAT. One system is sufficient for support. Generally, you don't get much changes, okay? It depends on project again, okay? So now you see development client, quality client, and UAT client, and production client. Okay, sometimes some systems you will have a pre-production client, they will use before, uh, after UAT, they will use, like, you know, they, they feel that this is a goal for pre-production, they will use it. Sometimes UAT and pre-production are the same, okay. So, you can see this, this is the, like, you know, pre-production and production client. You can say that this is one of the pre-production is the copy of your production client. I am a bit faster because our topic is cut out, not landscape, okay. Still, I'm giving. So you can see, you will have separate client for training sometimes if you are giving. Okay. So here, development test client, I told, right? Any test client. You have separate sandbox also. If you are not confident about the solution, you check here. What I, why I'm showing this landscape? Are you mad or what? You have done already one video on this. Why I'm showing? Because these are the systems integrated. Sometimes when you are doing cutover, sometimes you will do data set for this quality set system. Sometimes you will do for UAT system. Sometimes you will do all these systems. But more importantly, you will go for this system, production system. Okay? So this is how you have to play it. So sample typical landscape for your cutover. We'll see this. So first you will do cutover planning. Okay? That means what are all the configuration it is required? What are all the, like, you know, table maintenance it is required it might be configurable table maintenance or else your SMWT maintenance you will have a different kind of tables will be there okay what are all the master data it is required okay so cutover planning is done first you will do the basic data setup like you know when the production system is ready there is also like a, um, a standalone system with a different client for that you will do all configurations system system is ready to do for configurations okay so then you will move the configuration from your development to production every time this is the landscape follows if you are in support project also for production okay next all dependent configurations movement see once you said that you know basic configurations movement so when without doing uh, your base configurations, for example, sales organization, distribution channel, division, like that, you know, profit center, cost centers, okay, plans. So if you don't do any base configurations, if you suppose if you haven't done base configuration, you cannot move other basic functions 
and pricing and all those things it is uh, price determination is happening for example sales organization distribution channel and division and your customer pricing procedure and document pricing procedure and that respect to uh, assigned pricing procedure so if you cannot move without creating sales organization okay that is meaningless right see this is a very basic level like uh, your configuration for warehouse management or sd or mm company code it starts with company code right you are going to create all this base configuration then you will move all dependent configurations like material exclusion inclusion okay finance side some other dependent configurations okay so mm side you will have okay before creating a plant sterilization you cannot uh, purchase group and all those things you cannot able to create all purchase document configuration and all those stuff okay we'll move all dependent and independent configuration also then we'll move all above objects suppose if you wrote any custom programs so my storage location need to be determined automatically or else my delivery should be based on certain date it automatically get created if it is every day it is creating then Uh, then manually also it should allow or else some background jobs okay and everything all your uh, s c38 programs bad is bad is and everything will be moved so config and other type of standard tables movement okay i told you right so table maintenance is a configurable tables or else your sm30 standard maintenance tables will be there because and you have that tv or vc variables also or else any some g performer they are following for custom process that will be do then you will do master data movement okay so here you will move all transactional data movements i am telling you here you should be very careful for example so in another two days today is thursday and saturday and sunday is blackout okay blackout means they will uh, they will stop all processes in traditional uh, uh, system what they are using uh, maybe like you know out old systems okay maybe like dot net or java any other software they are using they are newly migrating that is called your legacy systems old software so like you know you have to make a note it down you know cut our file you will have for you know what are all the open orders are there open deliveries are there open billing documents are there okay so then uh, we we'll ask you request the business to stop there itself that is the ending point when you are going live after blackout period like you know sunday or morning 10 o'clock or by that time day and night you have to work and you have to get it ready the system so you have to load your transaction data open orders open billing documents by using eva programs or also sometimes you will use old ltmc sorry you ltmc volt is volt is like lsmw by using techniques you will try to move your customers vendors you see master data customers vendors and uh, your gl account cost centers profit centers okay condition records uh, not only condition records okay so you will you, you are going to move work centers all kind of master data movement will be there okay that is part of cut over right when you do the planning you have to basically you are getting ready the system to up and run for the business for that you are taking certain a gap like in you know, a one or two days okay you will off uh, will take out the connection from your legacy system okay then uh, like that you are supposed to move ahead okay so next is interfaces like uh, still for example they are using ecc they are using any outside uh, Uh, you know warehouse management system and in sap they are not using next next year they are going to go live but still they can able to integrate with uh, our system through eda or something like that such a case interfaces need to be get it ready that is also part of uh, your cutover okay you see i'm just given the sample examples like uh, what is the cutover plan contains like master data customers vendors condition records material info records so customer profit centers cost centers gl accounts configuration of all modules customer standard maintenance tables abap object objects at custom level configurable tables standard maintenance and variables like this huge list will be there how can you remember all these things how can you remember can anybody remember do do we require to remember we need not require to remember anything everything will be in place 
one certain every company has their own set of certain formats okay so sometimes these things will be divided uh, if client don't have confidence or else the work is more he he also wanted to give to the business one service company will do mdm activity only they will do master data uploads and all these things okay actual development team or else some other team whoever done the development they will move all configurations about objects and all these things so it will be divided it will it will be divided among two companies to support actual cut our plan to get have a close coordination to get ready the business system okay so don't worry see the term itself it is sufficient i think you got some idea what is cut over if you are beginner then okay so so how the system is there how the plan is there that's what we have seen right okay so post cut over also cut over run business system readiness hey we moved that with a dummy customer or dummy actually we can able to create the sales order or else you know whatever the processes we have till now tested if it is giving any dump okay so like you know all the objects are moved or not they will do config testing and they will call it as a smoke testing so like you know the system is ready uh, next day it is ready for go live or not i'll tell you one uh, i'll tell you a couple of examples of failures okay if everything is success system is running right one time what happened it's not from our team another team they are actually you know going for uh, thailand go live there is one uh, uh, what do you call uh, one thing they have done sales order and delivery and after that automatic billing the, for that uh, billing need to be print out they have created you know, certain custom object uh, some buttons or something like that that has stopped working after go live what is the backup action you can able to create manually right consultants so i think from four locations four distributors literally they are sitting and they start started taking printouts in the meanwhile you have a escalation they have a time of one day or two days in the meanwhile they get it ready as that solution somehow it is not working in production technical reason okay they set it right and the next day it is get it ready so then go away smooth okay so like you know you can see this interface some data is moving through pa okay uh, more directly to custom tables after that any background job is picking it has a different solution file transfer protocol l11 tables okay so all those things will be taken so legacy system instruction to off actually blackout period means the period where we are doing cut over and uh, before going to go live that time we will off the system actually okay so this is all about cut over i have almost uh, uh similar uh, like you know live kind of uh, document is there but i cannot show here so this is all about cut over okay so i think uh you are good to go what i have explained so be get ready okay with your cut over plan if you are working in real time okay i'm just going back okay this is all about you know your project cut over brief actually when it comes to actual you will have either excel file or some software or else any word document you will make a note it down okay sometimes the cut over is not done by one person the activity is also divided among uh, it depends on the load you know three or four consultants single person is not sufficient to do the cut over for example i'll tell you one of the project cut over activity i have done by using mass transaction i'm just giving simple example we have done a lot so for example delivery priority you know right high low medium okay so like you know they have uh, one of uh, the country where we went for live so we supposed to uh, a mass data it is already uploaded but they forgotten this activity okay delivery priority update that is available in your sales and distribution data delivery you can able to find this food okay it's easy so like they have that uh, high low medium like that you know different kind of five are there so we got a instruction these are the customers so you need to be updated so that is my cut over activity because i worked on that solution so 
So mass transaction I used existing data. You don't require LSMW, right? So slowly, like you know, three hundred, four hundred, like that. You know, I have updated. It took a couple of hours. That's the activity I have to do it. I did it in UAT. I did it in pre-production. I did the same thing. Finally, my go live. Okay. So I think you got some idea about uh, this one for uh, relevant to cut over. If you have any doubts, you can comment, and uh, probably you can subscribe my channel. So I'm just I'm just uh, uh, trying to give what are the knowledge I have here. So this is the forum. You can, uh, uh, you know, if, I, if any beginner are there, you can share this video to get into this. Before you don't get tension. Life is easy. Uh, we can we can do anything in our life. So thank you very much. Thank you all. Uh, one update. These are the few. Uh, currently, I'm holding two thousand five hundred and seventy one students. And the 241 successful, of course, 10% will be there. Now. People, they can, uh, they are not satisfied with anything criticized. Of course, more than 95 to 96%. The reviews are so positive. You can see this. This is SG course. It is available 75 hours. And apart from that, I have one more course for pricing, which is exclusively on 8 hours. If you are beginners to S4 HANA, better do this. After another 8 to 10 years, ECC is available after 10 years with I doubt by the time your technical or project management side you will be there that is your career map you can see this getting master data to write functional specific and if you are beginner it is useful before knowing this don't get don't try to get into the industry probably like you know you can speak something technically and you can get into the industry but you should know all these practical processes better utilize this this prices varies. Uh, so now it is low. Sometimes this price might be like, you know, 550 or all. sometimes it is like, you know, 2,500 and all. It's not a big deal, but still when it is low, better you subscribe. Okay. This is one course for rebates. Okay. And this is for, you know, your uh, S4 HANA. Whatever the ECC credit management settings got moved to FSCO, you can able to find S2 Prospect 2. And uh, it is useful for FA consultants also. And stock transfer, okay, intercompany sales, okay, intercompany stock transfer. And everything got explained on ECC. I have one more course on S4 2020 I configured. And SAP SD ECC S4 HANA. This is, you know, we have seen this pricing course, right? In addition to that, whatever the scenarios missed, I have done one more course here. And you can able to find these links. I'm just uh, pasting below of this video. I just uh, utilize this an opportunity to get into this, okay? To enhance your knowledge, okay? I think we're good to go. Thank you very much. This is the brief about cutover. Don't think that, you know, it's, uh, we can do just like that. It takes days. You have a plan with the dates actually. When you need to, uh, do the base configuration when you who who actually need to do uh, actually who act actually need to move other objects who is above say need to move other objects your technical lead and functional lead cutover manager and cutover lead and all teammates have one meeting at the time of drafting itself sometimes if they have some experience before any project cutover if it is for the same client then probably the meeting time is very less, but it has to follow the same principle what they have done, project cut over from one place to another place and one system to another system. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Jai Hind.